Hey guys, good day. Thank you so much for clicking again on another video on my channel. This is Kurt from the Bike Channel PH. Uh, today we are going to be reviewing the Tarmac Shade Cycling Glasses from Spider. It's a known brand here in the Philippines. They make helmets and any sportswear uh, apparels and, and uh, you know, they have a good foot ground or, you know, uh, um, good store to tell here in the Philippines. So, um, I got this glasses from Lazada. I bought this for 1,600 pesos, guys. 1,600 pesos. And uh, I can tell you right off the bat for the price, I'm not really satisfied with the performance, with the build quality and all, and I'm gonna show that to you a bit later. But first, let's talk about the packaging. Packaging is neat. It's not fully hard case. It has soft touches here card on the front side and then it has this belt holster on here so you can put this beside you right right on your waist uh, so let's open the box here so by the way this came in really really good in great packaging bubble wrap all around but it doesn't come in the box it just comes as this and a really thick bubble wrap making sure that the content is protected from any damages all right, so let's talk about the content. So here you got the pouch, right? And then, I'm not sure about this, but correct me if I'm wrong, but this looks like something that you'd use to clean the lenses, right? You put it in the middle and then you do this, right? So again, I could be wrong, so please comment down below what you think this is for. All right, here you go. It looks like a lens clip cleaner. This is the pouch right here. All right, now let's go. So this comes in with one extra uh, extra glass, non-tinted, I'm not sure, or clear lens. And this is how it looks. It looks really neat. I'm gonna show that to you right now. There you go. It looks so neat, nice. And it's got like gray accents on the bottom, which adds, um, which actually adds to its aesthetic feature right there. Has the S logo right there. I'm not sure if you can take it off, but I think you can. If you peel off the first layer. Does it have a layer? I don't think it does. It says Ultra right there. So there you go. So let me put this back. All right, now jumping onto the sunglasses itself. So it comes inside a plastic with this tag right here. It says HD Ultra Polarized, and it does, it is, definitely is polarized. Smudge-free lenses, I'm not sure what they mean there, but um, let's take off the glasses off the plastic. Alright, so as you can see, it really is neat. The design of the glasses really is cool. Um, and then, okay, here's the reason why I think it's... But maybe it's because it's carrying a brand, right? But to me, I think for 1,600 pesos, you can get a lot better glasses for a cheaper price, like say for, from Rock Bros or, or from other uh, you know, Chinese brands, right? Uh, the glasses are, no, the glasses, the lenses do refract some light and you can see some distortion, not really that much, but you know, this is expected on, you know, cheap, uh, cheaper versions of glasses, uh, not something that you would expect from an Oakley glass, so an Oakley lens. So, um, not a big fan really of the lenses. Um, I think I would price this right around well below 1,000 pesos, right around $20. This one's right like $30. And um, the frame, it really looks plastic. Oh, it is definitely plastic because most frames are made of, made of plastic, right? But this one right here, it doesn't really indicate of, it doesn't look like it's cheap. But once you hold them in your hand, you'd, you'd feel that it's, uh, it's made of cheaper plastic, right? It has the S logo right there for Spiger. It has a rubber component on the arm right there. Okay, it's, it's got some markings on there saying, uh, what is it, Tarmac UV400 right there. So take a good look and see what you think about this. 
Again, I'm too shy and wearing showing my face on the video, so use your imagination and imagine how it looks like on you. Alright, now, the reason why I'm so mad about these glasses is I've seen a lot of reviews on the saddle already and it's been well documented by you know people who commented there that there are some cases where the quality of the glasses is subpar. In my case, let me show this to you real quick. Uh, okay. All right, there you go. See the arms right there? This one's raised a little bit and this one's flat on the table. See? Now, once you wear this, you're not gonna notice that much difference until you scrutinize it. You'd see that the, uh, the uh, glasses is situated kind of tilted. And that really annoys me because, um, you know, you'd notice that on longer rides, right? But good thing is, Lazada has great return offers or return policy. So I'm gonna be returning these glasses. I'm requesting for a refund. And then um, they're gonna you know, refund the whole money back. You know, free return policy, just drop this off LBC and uh, they give you a code and you're gonna give that code to LBC and they'll, they'll take care of it. And after a few days, after everything's approved, uh, of course you wanna have, you don't wanna damage the glasses, right? Of course, if it came in damaged, then that's their fault, fault. But that's the reason why you want to report any damages to any um, sellers, like an online source like Lazada, on a timely manner because you don't want them to not refund your money if you do request one. So uh, this, uh, these are the glasses. Very, 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 very short review. And then, um, to be honest, I I like how it looks. And then for one thousand six hundred pesos, I think they could do better with the materials of the plastic I've seen uh, I've held <clears throat> better frame built frame on the touch and and looks with glasses way lesser than 1600 pesos but again it's spider it, it's a branded name and um, maybe that's the reason why it carries a little bit of cost compared to cheaper counterparts. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna re review one of my, uh, if you wanna check my review on one of the Rock Rose glasses I own, which has like four, uh, four interchangeable lenses and um, it's got, uh, it's got a solid pouch. You can check them, you can check on my channel. I'm not sure how I can show this link anywhere. Hey, hello there, Mumui. That's my dog right there. So cute. Mumoy! Look at Mumoy! Say hello to the subscribers. Alright. He's a snob. Um, so yeah. Uh, watch that video. And that one right there costs one third of how much this spider glasses costs. And I think that right there is bang for the buck. Um, and then uh, quality control. QC. You know, it's, it's a known issue. I still bought the glasses despite the fact. But, you know, Spider could have done something better, you know. Um, this speaks volume with their quality control. Because how would you allow items like this on a massive scale to be produced and be sold to your customers, right? This is just an, uh, unacceptable. I mean, I would understand maybe one or two lemon items. But if you have frequent people commenting on Lazada about this then stop selling the glasses Jesus Christ right and just do something about the product first so there you go um, I wouldn't recommend this glass to anyone really I wouldn't because of the quality control I wouldn't and the build quality um, you'd settle with glasses that you see online for a thousand pesos or less trust me I've used glasses different glasses and this isn't worth 1,600 pesos. So yeah, there you go guys. I mean, if you liked the video, I try to be as honest as possible with my reviews. These are not sponsored videos. Uh, these are items I bought with my own money. And um, you know, I want to make sure I bring value to everyone as far as giving you know the pros and cons of these uh, other items that I review here. So there you go. If you want to support the channel, click on subscribe. And don't forget to click on the 
notification icon to be notified on future videos. Thank you so much. Peace out. Again, this is Kurt by Channel PH. Have a great day. Stay awesome. Ride safe.